Psalm 56 takes the woes and troubles of life and responds in two ways. First, it remains strong in trusting God through all the ups and downs and in affirming that I may walk before God in the light of the living. And secondly, it holds on to the hope that God will not forget the injustices done in the past, using these very picturesque words. Thou tellest my flittings, put my tears into thy bottle. Are not these things noted in thy book? The idea that God remembers everything is potentially troublesome, as this could result in a destructive kind of revenge. However, Christians believe God does not remember in this way. Rather, we trust in the forgiving love and grace of God, who has already promised a new beginning for everyone who truly turns away from sin. The tears we have shed are never overlooked, but they are not a weapon to be deployed against others. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man goeth about to devour me. He is daily fighting and troubling me. Mine enemies are daily in hand to swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O Thou Most Highest. Nevertheless, though I am sometime afraid, yet put I my trust in Thee. I will praise God because of his word. I have put my trust in God and will not fear what flesh can do unto me. They daily mistake my words, all that they imagine is to do me evil. They hold all together and keep themselves close, and mark my steps when they lay wait for my soul. Shall they escape for their wickedness? Thou, O God, in thy displeasure shalt cast them down. Thou tellest my flittings, put my tears into thy bottle. Are not these things noted in thy book? Whensoever I call upon thee, then shall mine enemies be put to flight. This I know, for God is on my side. In God's word will I rejoice, in the Lord's word will I comfort me. Yea, in God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Unto thee, O God, will I pay my vows. Unto thee will I give thanks. For thou hast delivered my soul from death and my feet from falling that I may walk before God in the light of the living.